What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just jumping on here to do a little short video about pretty much why I haven't been riding for the last few weeks. Obviously I'm back riding now, back to full potential and absolutely loving being back out on the water. But some of you guys are wondering why I was off the water for a few weeks and what went down in those weeks. I managed to keep it pretty quiet with what happened. Obviously with me and Ryan being so active with our filming all the time, social media wise it didn't really take any hit on uh, what had happened. But yeah, basically today's video is just going to be explaining what happened to me and why I was off the water for so long. Nine weeks ago today, I basically broke my back in three places. I've broken my back in three places on something called the transverse processor. So, I'm waiting to hear back from the spinal team and then maybe I can get home. We'll see, staying positive. Hopefully got lucky and uh, keep you guys updated. What I did was crashed on one of the rails at Liquid and ended up breaking three of the transverse processors pretty much clean in half and then obviously the bottom one which you can see from the scans was chipped off. The basics of how it happened was I ended up gapping onto a rail slipped out, landed on my back on the up safety of one of the down rails. So I landed back first, ragdolled into the water, managed to swim myself to the side. Obviously the boys were all checking if I was all right. And to be honest, at the time I thought that I'd got super lucky and maybe it was just gonna be a bit painful today and would be okay the next day. So I managed to walk myself out of the water, which was pretty scary at first because I, I was obviously hoping that the rest of my body was all good. Um, sort of pulled my wetsuit down, uh, then met Alfie, Constable and Pedro. They were sat on the side and they asked me if I was all good. And at the time I, I was like, yeah, I think so. Like I could walk and obviously it was quite painful, but you always have these sort of crashes in any extreme sports. And more often than not, you get away with it. But obviously there's the times like this one that you don't. And anyway, Alfie drove me back to the cable in the boot of his car. And I was sort of laying down for probably an hour or two, just thinking that I'd hit my back super bad and hopefully it would be okay the next day. Long story short, a few hours passed by, I was trying to walk around and it was just way too painful. I got my brother to drive me home and I ended up going to A&E that evening because I was, I was sitting at home and I stood up at one point and the pain was just like an absolute burning pain that was... It was pretty bad to be honest and that was that was the one time that it started to worry me a little bit. The main reason I ended up going to A&E was just because I was kind of worried about internal bleeding. Um, if it wasn't for that sort of worry I probably would have just had a bath and left it but I ended up going there, uh, had the pleasure of A&E sitting on a plastic chair for four hours with no pain relief and then they ended up putting me in a room. I had a CT scan done on my back. I'm so fucking bored. I've been here for four hours and I just had my CT scan. The first sort of nurse that was there originally walked in and told me that it was all good and I was free to go, there was nothing wrong with my back. Um, and then he said that I could wait for one of the specialist nurses in another hospital to have a look at it because it was at night. And at this point I was like, I've been here for five hours, I may as well wait another hour or two and get the professional's opinion. So I ended up falling asleep in the chair and I woke up to another doctor coming in and he'd informed me that I'd broken my back in three places and that I would be staying the night in the hospital. So I had a quick COVID check to make sure that I was all good to go to the ward. Um, I was in a room by myself for the first night, which was actually pretty good dosed up on morphine, couldn't feel too much, but at the times when the morphine was wearing off, I could definitely start to feel the pain and it was pretty bad in bed. Hospital food was banging, however, really enjoyed that. Well, breakfast looks pretty bad even by my standards. A 
family and beggars can't be choosers, but good job I like eating terrible food. I'm not gonna lie, I've got like the most banging food ever. Got my little pot of codeine. It's raining outside anyway. OG trousers are on. Like, can't really complain right now. I've got like soup, chocolate cake, like lamb. I, apart from the broken back, life is good right now. Can't complain. Been getting comp updates from the boys, so yeah, hospital life is, is not too bad right now. Second night got moved onto a ward. Um, I was stuck with a bunch of oldies, made the most of a bad situation, and uh, had a few people that I could message that that was keeping me busy. And then, yeah, basically, because of where it was, it's classed as a stable fracture. So that meant that pretty much as soon as I left the hospital, I could kind of walk. I was actually walking in the hospital. So I had two nights in the hospital and I had the physiotherapist in the hospital showing me the best things to be doing, how I should be walking and stuff. Obviously, with it being a stable fracture, it meant that it wasn't just going to slip at some point and leave me in a really bad state. So... Luckily for that, it meant that I could walk almost straight away. So I got a little wheelchair from my mum to the car. Let's go home. So look. Oh, let's go now. We're free. Time to go home. First night was quite bad, but not insanely painful. It was more just trying to, if I stood up in the wrong position or if I tried to straighten my body out, that was when it was really bad. Second day out of hospital, I was at the lake coaching again. I was walking a little bit skew with, but managing to make it work. Pretty much as soon as I could, I wanted to be getting back to wakeboarding and I didn't want to let this injury slow me down too much. So literally within the first few days of being out, I was kind of resting up the first few days and I'd say about a week and a half, maybe two weeks into it, I started walking and then Maybe like three three weeks into it, I was back on the bike. Um, just on the stationary bike at our house, I was cycling, trying to keep my legs moving. I didn't want to just sit around and get fat. And that was something that the physios had told me as well. They said, being young, being an athlete like myself, it means that you can definitely have a bit more of a speedier recovery. And there's no point just laying in bed and letting your muscle waste away. So I was back on the stationary bike at ours. They originally told me it was going to be about 10 weeks till I'd be back fully. Um, but me being my stubborn self, I was like determined to get back as soon as possible. So we are about 11 days out of me breaking my back. I'm currently on the turbo trainer. But yes, 11 days since I did it. Nine days since I left the hospital. Got a little bit fat since... Uh, since I've been chilling and resting up, but back on the cardio now. Got my cycling hat on. Gonna be trying to bang this out a few times a week. And we'll be back in no time. Been to the physio this morning. That was Neil Minter and Associates. So Neil over there helping me with my back. It's the second time I've seen him since it's happened. And Book back in for next week. Got some stretches to be doing and I'll keep you guys updated as we go through the journey. But I think last time we spoke, I was in the hospital, so just thought I'd give you a little update. Things are going good. Staying positive and get myself back on the board as soon as possible. Okay. So basically I was back on my board three and a half weeks after doing it. Obviously I feel like I was at a bit of a bit of an advantage with wakeboarding being such a natural thing to me. I could sort of do things quite smoothly. Obviously you can see from the videos that I'm quite stiff still on the board and if I landed in the wrong position it kind of hurt. And maybe some people say it was irresponsible but I knew I was in my comfort zone. I was being as careful as possible and it just felt good to be back on the water. Looking back on it now, we're nine weeks away from when I did it and I'm, I can't believe how quick I got back on the board really and I'm stoked that I managed to get back so quick. So first ride back since the crash. It feels so good to be back on the water out here at Liquid Leisure. Gonna have some fun, take it a little bit steady, keep it within the comfort zone for once. Yeah, let's get it. Four and a half weeks out of the hospital at 
back shredding, managing to do a few little things, just feeling so good to be back in the water. This is the first rider I've actually felt like I could sort of do some good stuff. So I think the main thing for me, as you can see from the cycling video, was from the day I did it, the moment I was in that hospital, I just had the most positive mindset that I was going to get back as soon as possible. I didn't want to let it get me down. I didn't want to just sort of feel, sit there, feel sorry for myself. I think first day I came out of hospital, I ate a load of cookies and brownies and that was my feel sorry for myself day. And then after that, I was straight to it, no excuses trying to get myself back to full fitness and back in shape as quick as possible and just to give myself the best chance of recovery I was eating well um, but yeah mainly just the mindset I didn't want to let it get me down I didn't want to get into some sort of dark depressed state so I was straight back into the fitness as soon as possible the physios had said that was a good idea to just keep myself moving and in a way I almost felt better when I was moving rather than just laying in bed letting it seize up. As soon as I could I was back doing sort of body weight exercises as well. I was actually doing some handstands and stuff quite soon. Um, again some people might say that it wasn't the best idea but I think at the end of the day like it's your body you know what hurts you, you know what feels good and for me I was just trying to re-strengthen my body again and I didn't want to rush it but I definitely didn't want to sit around feeling sorry for myself for too long. Tomorrow will be nine weeks since doing it. Um, want to say a massive thank you to Neil Minter and Associates, my physio. He massively sped things up. I had, I believe it's called like the shockwave therapy or he put this machine on it pretty much as soon as I did it and that managed to get rid of the bruising that was on the internal bit of my sort of hip flexory area around here and by doing that that meant I could get back to movements as quick as possible he's always the one that manages to fix me and Ryan when we break ourselves also want to say a massive thank you to Gareth Ward at Adapt Chiropractic UK he's been cracking me and Ryan as well giving us all the little adjustments on our backs and stuff so that's been super good to help with my recovery Yeah. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it guys that is basically my journey coming back from broken transverse processes in my back probably not the most exciting video but i know a few people have been asking what's going on and i just wanted to share with you guys and let you know basically what's been happening with me and why i haven't been riding so much but back to full health now, super excited for what Ryan and I have planned. Obviously, I know some of you might have seen the Cable Carnival stuff that we've had coming out at the moment, and we're currently editing that. So we're gonna be a few more weeks editing, but once that comes out, that's gonna be unreal, and we can't wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Share the videos, keep the love coming on the YouTube. It's been great to see everyone commenting at the moment. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.